my channel. I hope you all are enjoying your October so far. I know I have been. I've just been burning all my Halloween candles, enjoying the spooky ambiance. It finally actually dropped to like the low 70s here where I am today. So I got to wear my long sleeves and actually enjoy it comfortably for once this year. It really is a shame that at this point we only have a few more weeks here to enjoy all of the Halloween stuff. But at least at the end of it, we get into the holiday season, which is also fun. Just not as fun as Halloween. But anyways, so today I have another spooky video for you guys. I hope you guys are enjoying the spooky content for Halloween. I know that a lot of people have moved on to Christmas stuff and we're getting into holiday releases and whatnot. So hopefully you guys aren't sick of all of the Halloween and fall candles still because I have a few more videos actually that I need to get out by the end of the month. So just bear with me here. Interestingly enough, actually, I just received a bunch of Christmas candles in the mail today and I was thinking of making a Christmas haul video but I'm also thinking of just moving that to November I'm not exactly sure I'm trying to gauge if people want the Christmas stuff during the Halloween season I feel like I would much prefer to release it in November but if you guys would like to see that sooner please make sure to let me know in the comments below I always get mixed reactions from people that want the Christmas stuff early or they don't want the Christmas stuff to interfere with the Halloween season so it's always interesting to see what everybody has to say but enough about that let's get into what we have here today and that is Birkin Hair Company so Birkin Hair Company is one of the candle companies that specializes in spooky and gothic scents year round. They're one of the smaller candle brands. I say smaller because they're actually one of the bigger candle brands for the smaller indie companies out there. But they pride themselves on making gothic candles and scents that smell supernatural all year round. That's their bread and butter. But they also do have a Halloween collection, which I got a few of today. This is a company that I haven't talked about about on this channel before but I have talked about them on my Instagram page and it's a company that I have a little bit of experience with I've been purchasing them for over a year now I get them very intermittently through the year just to get that spooky fix and generally I really enjoy their scents I always love to get a few throughout the year to just sprinkle them in my spring summer late winter type burning seasons just to add a little bit of spookiness there so with all of that being said let's get into what I have here because I actually want to start off with a couple of spring candles that I have. Well, I have one of them with me, but I really want to talk about that one. And that is Memento Mori. So this is a candle that they offer year round, but I really love burning this one in the spring and even in the summer on like cooler, breezier summer nights. So as you can see here, they come in these little single wick jars, kind of reminiscent of like a Bath and Body Works single wick. They come in a larger format as well, but I have never personally tried the larger versions. For me in my burning situation in my room, I find that the small single wicks work pretty well most of the time, but I would imagine the larger versions produce a little bit more scent than these. I think they're not much bigger, maybe akin to like a Bath and Body Works three wick, but I believe they're also single wicks in the larger format as well but yeah this is a scent that they offer year round but I personally really love burning it in the spring and summer because it smells like rain on concrete this is one of the most authentic petrichor candles I've ever had in my life you get a really nice fresh like rain on concrete like when the concrete's a little bit warm and the fresh rain gets on it sizzles it a little bit you get that nice like wet cement smell and you get a little bit of earthiness kick from the dirt there's a dirt scent note in here and a little bit of moss as well it's also got a little bit of like an ozone thing going on like fresh air as well it's so authentic and so nice if you're really into like rain dewy type of scents absolutely 100% recommend this one I get this every Every year in the springtime. Now the other one that I get that I don't have with me because I burned fully through mine this year is Cemetery Gates. It's a semi sister candle to this. I believe this one released after Cemetery Gates. I think Cemetery Gates was one of their like original candles that they got big off of. But that one opposed to Memento Mori, which is rain on concrete. The Cemetery Gates is rain on grass or grass after it rains, if you will. That one is a really, really authentic 
grass and dirt and you get that dewiness from it it's very wet it's amazing it's absolutely gorgeous for like spring mornings but you could definitely burn that one year round that's another one i would highly highly recommend all right just had to get those ones out of the way real quick because i absolutely needed to talk about them if i'm making a birkin hair company video but let's get on to the halloween and fall scents which is the point of this video so starting out with the more fall leaning candles here we have black number one so this is actually one of those rare cologne type scents that I actually really love. It's very heavy, very warm, very sensual. It's definitely very mood setting for sure. Definitely a candle that I would burn on a colder night. Absolutely. This thing is very, very heady. But the scent notes on black number one are a top of juniper and vetiver, a mid of rosewood and cedar, and a base of black pepper, suede, and incense. So yeah, the first thing that jumps out in this candle is definitely that cedarwood and rosewood. This is a very woody cologne type scent. You definitely get the vetiver off top and there is a little bit of that black pepper type kick to it as well. And the incense at the base note definitely plays a role too. So while this one isn't like necessarily marketed as a fall scent, you can 100% burn this in the fall, but it is offered year round. And honestly, for me, I really love burning this for like Valentine's Day. There's something about it that just gives me that type of vibe to it and this one actually performs pretty well for the size of this candle it's a very strong scent both on cold and while performing this is one of my favorites that they have to offer if you hate cologne type scents definitely don't go for this one but if that's your jam i would highly recommend this all right so getting into the more fall and halloween centric scents up first here we have exorcist so the exorcist is one of my favorite movies of all time it's an absolute classic so whenever i see a candle that wants to capture the vibe and atmosphere i'm always intrigued and the scent notes on this one definitely jumped out to me when they put it up for sale so the scent notes on this one are a top of frankincense a middle of dragon's blood and incense smoke and a base of benzoin and red resin so yeah, this one is like an incense lover's dream. That frankincense is strong in this one mixed in with the dragon's blood, the incense smoke. It's straight up incense. And it's also got a little bit of a vanilla kick. I think that is from the benzoin. I know like the scent description on benzoin says that it has a little bit of a vanilla-ness to it. And you definitely get that in here. Very smooth. This is definitely what I imagine like Reagan's bedroom was smelling like during The Exorcist. And it kind of reminds me of like the exorcist haunted house at halloween horror nights i just went through it this year and i definitely think they were pumping in like a frankincense smell in that maze very spooky very gothic i absolutely love this one on cold unfortunately i think this was a limited edition release and it is now sold out on the website but it sold out really fast and i think they bring it back every season so if you're into incense candles if you just want a straight up incense no frills i would 100 recommend seeking this one out next year or keep it at least on your list of things to look out for because it absolutely hits the mark. So up next here, we have the first of the two of the Halloween collection that I got this year, and that is Devil's Night. So this is actually a repurchase for me. I bought this candle last year and absolutely loved it. It shares a little bit of similarities with black number one in the case that it smells a little bit cologne. -y. It doesn't go as far in the cologne category as black number one does, but it's very spooky. It's very dark. It's very gothic and definitely a must for the Halloween season. So the scent notes on Devil's Night are a top of black cedar and tobacco leaf, a mid of fennel and clove, and a base of smoke, leather, and evergreen. So yeah, off the bat, this one is another very woody fragrance. You definitely get hit with that black cedar that is the prominent note in this. And it's a very smoky cedar as well. That smoke note from the base definitely comes through a lot. You also get hints of that in this one they mingle really well together and on cold you can't smell the fennel in this one but i picked out last year when i was burning this candle you do get that sort of black licorice type fennel kit when burning and it plays surprisingly well it's not a black licorice candle so if you hate 
black licorice sense. It's not that. There is a little bit in there, just that's the nature of a fennel, but it's not overpowering. And if you hate black licorice, I don't think that you would hate this. I mean, in the sense of if you want like a smoky cedar wood, like if you like smoky type candles and you wanted to try this one out and you were scared off by the fennel note, just in case it went in a more black licorice direction, it's definitely not that. But this was one that I burned last season. It performed decently well in my room in this size. It definitely took a few burns to get to the strength that I wanted it to be at, but definitely not unnoticeable. And when I was burning, it was creating a very nice, warm, spooky atmosphere. I absolutely love smoky cedarwood type candles. So this is definitely right up my alley. If you really love a smoky, woody, very heavy and warm type candle, I would definitely recommend trying this one out. And the label that they did on it this year, last year, it just had the simple black label that they're known for. This is like their iconic style. I really love the font and the aspects that they chose for the label this year. I think it just brings the package in together a lot better. But yeah, another one that I would absolutely recommend if the scent notes sound appealing to you. I know I've definitely shown this candle to a few people and they were like, this is kind of a lot, but I definitely really love this one. So the last one that I have here is my personal favorite of the ones that I have shared today. And the one that I believe would appeal to the most people. It's a bit of a more basic scent, but it does it so well. And that is pumpkin. And I absolutely just have to mention the packaging on this. The little like Ouija board label on this is so cool. Love the artwork, love the font, love everything about this amber jar. Absolutely gorgeous. So this is of course another repurchase from me this season. I burned this one last season and it was one of those ones that I just couldn't put down. It's too good. Yeah, it's another pumpkin candle, but it doesn't lean into the pumpkin spice. It goes in a little bit of a different direction that is absolutely amazing. So. The the scent notes on this one are top of pumpkin puree, cinnamon, and brown sugar, a middle of vanilla cream, butter, and graham, and a base of bake at 375 for 50 minutes. So yeah, this isn't like your basic pumpkin spice candle. This isn't sweet cinnamon pumpkin from Bath and Body Works. This is like the most authentic pumpkin puree mixed with graham cracker. That's it. So you guys know I'm not really the gourmand guy, but like this is one of those gourmands that is just absolutely like you can't hate this candle. That pumpkin puree mixed with the vanilla cream and the butter with the graham cracker, it smells like a pumpkin pie with a dollop of Cool Whip on it. The graham cracker crust note in this one comes through so strong. And that's what I really appreciate about this candle. If you can do a pie type scent and you get that graham cracker crust note just right, then that's an absolute slam dunk. And this one does it the best out of any graham cracker type scent that I've ever smelled. It's so addicting. Usually I would have all my candles on my my little candle shelf next to me, but this one has been squarely on my desk next to me because I need to pick it up every five seconds to smell it. It just smells so good. And I also picked it up in the wax melt this year. Not that this was performing badly last year. I remember this one being actually a pretty good performer as I just burned it in the single wick version last year, but I always like to give a little bit more oomph to my candle burning. So they do have wax melts available of this one. The other ones I don't believe have wax melts. Let me double check that. So actually they offer it in pumpkin and also the Devil's Night does come in wax melts as well if you would like to try the wax melt versions of them instead. But yeah, this one actually did perform very well in just the candle form. I have not melted any of the wax melts yet. But generally across all candle companies, I find that wax melts tend to perform a little bit better than just a single wick type candle. So I'm sure that the combination of these two will definitely kick it up a notch. But yeah, if I were to recommend one single candle out of this whole video that I think everybody would genuinely enjoy, unless you just really don't like pumpkin candles like at all, this is the one that you need to check out. This is my number one recommendation. Just such an enjoyable, cozy fall scent. Honestly, I take this one into like November because it definitely can be viewed as like a pumpkin pie scent. Although they don't really market it that way, it definitely can be used for like Thanksgiving and even Christmas as well. But yeah, another one that I just can't wait to get to burning. I'm very excited that I have it again this year to burn. And once again, the, the label is just amazing this year. So yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. And just as a disclaimer here at the end of the video, I didn't mention it beforehand, but obviously 
obviously, since these are a little bit smaller of a candle, these 100% will perform well in a smaller space. Fortunately, they do have wax melts available for some of the scents that they offer. So if you have a larger open concept space, wax melts will probably perform a lot better. But overall, I've been purchasing Bergen Hair Company for a couple of years now, and I've generally enjoyed their scents. They are a bit more on the pricier side for the amount of wax that you get, which is why I tend to get them in smaller increments in the year. I don't constantly buy them or anything, but I always love sharing what they do because if you're like me, I'm always looking for that spooky type gothic scent that I can use year round. So it's always good to know that they have options out there for those that want to indulge. Oh, and also as a little bit of like a bonus recommendation here at the end of the video, if you made it this far, thank you for watching. But my favorite candle that they produce is one called Bathory. They usually release it with their fall lineup. And this year they already released their fall lineup and it wasn't a part of it. So I'm kind of nervous that it's not going to come back this year. But just in case it does, I wanted to throw it in here as a recommendation if you guys were wanting to try them out. But Bathory is like a a really really nice blend of blood orange vanilla and chai spice with a little bit of black pepper thrown into it it's like the coziest spiciest fall candle there is it's one of my absolute favorites to burn in the fall and winter time too so hopefully they bring that one back this year if they do keep on the lookout for it if you want to try Birkin hair company out that would probably be my number one recommendation but let me know if you guys have ever tried out Birkin hair company if you guys have favorites what your guys's experience with them was because I always love hearing what you guys have to say. As always, leave a like if you guys enjoyed this video and subscribe for more candle and spooky content because I always have more on the way very soon. Until the next one, I will see you guys later. Bye.